What is going on everybody? My name is Japes and welcome to another episode of Let's Prepare for FIFA 14. Today we've got five star skillers that will be joining the squad. So following the progression, we had the three star skills, we had the four star skills, and now we've got the five. Picked up a morale card on the screen right there. You can see I have a few auctions that are still sort of going on. I just threw out open bids, hoped I'd get some of them, but I have my full team built. And you can see that Carlos Eduardo that I talked about last time after the transfer guess what he sold for quite a bit and you'll see with the new fifa 2 when ultimate team first comes out there are going to be a few player cards that are released and then the player is going to transfer to another club i think porto and hulk did it this year like you could have got a porto hulk at the very very beginning and kept him and he would have been worth a lot uh, at this point in time. So he's just an example of what uh, the transfer, you know, kind of player card might be like. We need a CM, CAM to CF card for Carlos Alberto, who I'm going to be using as a center forward in this squad. Now, some of you guys might ask, James, why Carlos Alberto? Well, the reason being is because I kind of have like a nostalgic FIFA connection with that guy. And that sounds so, so silly. Uh, but in past FIFAs, he has been one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite five-star skillers to use. And so I thought, you know what? I haven't even used him on this year's FIFA. Or if I did use him, I used his silver card, not his gold card. I think he's got a silver card. But I haven't used him in a center forward spot. And I used to play a 4-3-1-2 uh, formation back in probably FIFA 11. I'd, I had a Brazilian silver team that was with Jobson and then Carlos Alberto right in behind them. What a brilliant, brilliant team that was. Now, this is the squad I'm going to be going with for this. I've got Tim Howard, uh, the American in net. I've got Bakari Sanya. So getting that Arsenal defense intact at the back. We've got Sanya linking up with, I believe I got Vermaelen for 2,500 coins. Yes, indeed, Vermaelen. Though he didn't play for Arsenal over the weekend, still keeping the defense intact. Uh, we've got Mbia, who I believe is a very, very good defender on FIFA. He doesn't. He's not quite in that talked about with David Luiz because his chemistry links don't work up that well, but I actually prefer him him to a lot of the just slightly pacier options we got fabio at left back diakite as our left cdm a right attacking mid i sold or i will be selling the cf carlos eduardo car now i didn't sell it already because i wanted to see if i was okay with carlos alberto as my center forward without really that much pace so we moved carlos eduardo out to cam paid like 900 coins for that uh, we've got Adel Tarapt as our left attacking mid, Carlos Alberto as our center forward, and I went ahead and bought Leandro Damio as our striker. Now, he's four-star skills, only two-star weak foot. Uh, he's not very pacey. Obviously, I could get Pato, I could get Wellington, I could get Wagner Love, I could get, like, a man of the match Fred, uh, but actually, that wouldn't go to my point, but I could have gotten some pacier options, but... I like Damio in real life, uh, or I like the idea, I guess, of Damio in real life. I like what he brings to the table. You know, a stronger guy, good finishing in and around the box. He's got four-star skills in this game, so I thought, hey, you know what? Let's give him a shot. Let's see how it works out and try this team. And uh, I'm in Division 3 or 4, maybe still. I'm, I'm really not quite sure. Uh, but we come up against Hey, I'm Goose. And it's or no, he quits out. So we don't come up against Hey, I'm Goose. We uh, we wait and we come up against the next guy after Hey, I'm Goose. But five star skillers are fun, and this four two three one team uh, is very very well balanced and fun to play with. Now I've got Ramirez as one of my CDMs. Just my CDMs are fast. That's there's no other way about it. Ramirez is ridiculously fast, and Diakite for being a silver with seventy eight pace feels a lot. Uh, better and faster than that so this guy I saw that his outside backs in a three back were not center backs so that means that they're going to be out of position and they can be bullied in the air Damio just the type of player because the game doesn't recognize that hey this this guy is actually a left back it'd be probably a better idea to put one of our CDMs on him on a corner but I didn't, I guess I didn't take full advantage of that because I really don't like crossing. I prefer doing things like this with five star skills. And oh, yeah, that guy I mentioned, Carlos Alberto, a little sombrero flick on the volley, an absolute thunderbolt right into the back of the net. 13th minute goal, a little bit of dirty talk in there. I haven't had that, that dirty talk feel for a goal in a very, very long time, but that was oh so good when it happens like that. And I was just like, ah, five star skillers, where have you been my whole life? I totally skimped out on playing with 
with them. I just went ahead and, I don't know, because I wanted to use all sorts of different players, but playing with five-star skill teams is very, very fun. All these guys have solid ball control. You can see a nice bit of passing. Idle to Rap, gonna step inside here, a little heel-to-heel -heel flick, a little Burba spin, and he's got five-star weak foot, so that's never gonna be a problem going near post, oh so OP, even at the end of the game. And I'm assuming that it might be OP in next year's FIFA, but that's something that I'm going to have to wait and find out. I don't know if it's going to be that way yet. I will be able to tell you guys within maybe a handful of games played on there whether or not you should be shooting for that. But you guys will be able to tell that as well because it's not going to be like last year where... You know, everybody was still high and mighty on the finesse shot and always going towards the far post. And, you know, the idea of shooting for a near post in some of these situations was just kind of foreign in FIFA. That won't be the case because you guys will be, you'll have the muscle memory and you'll be essentially trained or already trained yourself throughout this FIFA that, hey, the near post is a pretty good idea. So you're going to want to try that out first, but there might be a new shooting technique that's going to just work wonders. So three to nil, first victory. That game could have been a heck of a lot worse, but all I did was go for, uh, essentially skill goals. The one at the end was not much of a skill goal at all. Uh, and he was just kind of, he was playing some funky defense, doing some slide tackles in interesting situations. And it actually took the ball away from me. So maybe he knew exactly what he was doing. But on we go, second match of the episode. And this guy is using the, the young boy's badge. He's got a Wolfsburg uh, crest and a Bundesliga side. I believe that's an orange man of the match, Royce over there, a left wing, or as his uh, left forward. So I thought I might have to watch out for that. But that was not really uh, the case too much. Carlos Eduardo up the side. Going to work this all the way back over. All the way back in. Leandro Damio, two-star weak foot. Yeah, right on the volley. An absolute thunderbolt. Well, not really. Not a full thunderbolt. But that is a fantastic volley from Adel Tarap. There's 17th minute. And a lovely pass from Damio. He and Carlos Alberto switch pretty nicely. Uh, Carlos Alberto, very quick player, not a dead sprint player. And I prefer quick players to the dead sprint players almost every time. And that's just because you can be really, really shifty. And if somebody makes like a slightly wrong move with their joystick, you can catch them out of position and you are gone because your player's acceleration and agility is just too much to handle. So 2-0 here, 32nd minute, I think is where we are at right now. I was... Uh, having a pretty easy time against this guy as well. Nice little over-the-top ball to Tarapt. And this is just like, oh, look at that free space. Oh, wait, near post. Yeah, that just went in from there. Uh, I guess it's not really that far out or not that crazy of a shot, but that was a very, very easy strike to go in at the near post. I didn't even look to see who his keeper was uh, at that point in time. But you would expect your keeper to not be beating or getting beaten near post like or I would have been I would have been a little frustrated if that had gone in if that was me but he pulls one back 70th minute I kind of took the foot off the gas and I thought he'd go onto his right foot with Lewandowski but hey he was like oh yeah right I'm gonna just cut inside and put it away and then it hits the 86th minute and he's like you know what I'm out I'm done that's that and uh we have a victory in the next division so happy days with that we are well on our way to a few more points so a nice little spell here and a very very enjoyable team to play with I might have to build a squad like this on my main account because they're just ridiculously ridiculously fun to play with anyways I want to thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy it a like a thumbs up is always greatly appreciated because this is out so early for my usual I think I'll have a head head episode out later today so uh if you want to see that let me know in the comments or on Twitter Thank you guys for watching. My name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.